Uh, I'm going to try to weld up a new Gen 8 bumper. I had this one I bought from Yeah Racing. Not a big fan of it. It gets caught on absolutely everything. It has hung me up on so many places throughout uh, my course and when I'm crawling out on the rocks. So I'm going to take this piece of uh, round steel stock and weld on a couple of these uh, bolts. I got two of them. I got another one laying over here somewhere or another. There it is. Where other marking is. Weld these on. And then they should, in all theory, fit right inside there. And then I will have a nice new rounded bumper that shouldn't get caught on everything. So I'm going to get the weld and get that put together. We'll see where it goes. Alright, so I have them tacked down. I'll worry about making them pretty later. I'm going to slide them in and see if they all fit. And yes, I am welding with an upside down left hand glove because I've burnt holes in all my right hand gloves. And sandals. Because, you know, why not? Well, we get those uh, cooled down and we'll slide it in the back of the Gen 8 and see how it looks. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. Like it's fairly level. Slid in there real good. That's not going to get caught on everything. Might even recess it just a tiny bit more. I haven't drilled my holes to uh, mount the bumper yet. Let me see if I can get this body off here. Set this down for a second. Alright, so I can get a look at what I've done. So when I'm done, I'll uh, drill my holes and then put uh, bolts and nuts through there. I'm going to weld this up the rest of the way and get it ground down looking nice and then we'll get back with you. Okay, so that came out really good. That looks nice sitting on the back of that. And it's pretty flush with the back, just pops out just the tiniest bit. Get that painted and I think we will be in good shape. Alright, so previously it would always get caught on this bridge. It actually ripped a board up from this bridge one time. And also, I don't know why you can see on the front there, but on the front axle I took uh, air compressor fittings, chopped them in half, painted them black and put them on there. A little bit extra weight on that front axle. Now let's take it down and across and see how it does with my one-handed driving. Right when it starts coming up the other side is normally when it would catch and pull a board up. Right there. Oh, I'm going to call that part a success. Take it down across some rocks real quick. Alright, I know it'll drag going down this. So, I'm going to call that a success for the bumper. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more projects. Everyone have a good day.